<laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Renato. If you're wondering where my funny accent comes from, it's Portugal. I moved to London three years ago, where I started working at Halo as a Go engineer. It was my first time using Go. Um, afterwards, I moved on to Deliveroo, where I work now. I started as a Rails engineer, and recently, like Rama, my manager said, we started using, uh, using Go. So a bit of context, why am I talking about ORMs? And the main reason is this is my first talk. So I tried to, tr to get a plan on how can I get off stage very quickly. And I was like, if I talk about ORMs in Go, people will boo me off stage and I can just leave. Um, <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, so my team used to use uh, Ruby on Rails in the beginning, and we recently made the switch to Go. Uh, like Rama said, the main idea was to get better performance out of our services, and because half of our team uh, already had experience in Go as well, so we decided to make the, to make the switch. Um, most of our apps use databases, like many of, of the apps you guys use. So we had to look at options on how can we interact with our databases. And the main two options is uh, either using an ORM or using plain SQL. Uh, so let's talk about ORMs. So ORM stands for Object Relation, Relation Mapping. Uh, and it's essentially a way for you to interact with your database using objects rather than writing plain SQL. Uh, there, are there are libraries to use ORMs in most languages. Uh, Go is not exception. There are a few of them. Some people love it, some people hate it. If you go on the Golang Reddit, most people hate it. Um, cool. Uh, so this is a comparison of using an ORM in Go on the left and using plain SQL on the right. Uh, when you use an ORM in Go, you can just give the primary key as a field of the object. You pass in as a pointer, and then it will translate that into a SQL query, get the data, and fill in your object for you. Um, if you use a, SQL, a plain SQL statement, you can go to the database, use the SQL statement, and then you have to map your fields individually. So pros and cons of using an ORM. Um, it's always a good way when you're using a tool. Uh, a good way to decide if you use, should use a tool or not is to do the pros and cons. So shorter implementations by using an ORM, you could potentially have a shorter of implementation of doing the same thing. If the ORM is well built, it should be easy to use. And in my opinion, the code looks uh, easier to read if you use an ORM rather than having SQL spread across your repo. And another advantage is portability. So most ORMs offer you the chance to change from one database to another because they, they give you a, a generic interface to interact with your database. Um, and the other advantage is you get to write more Go, which I guess is the, one of the ones you guys should like. Uh, the disadvantage is it's less flexible, so you're you're constrained by whatever the ORM offers you to interact with your database. Uh, you have to learn a new thing. So if you already knew, if you already know, um, if you already know SQL, you still need to understand how your ORM works. Uh, execution times, which I believe is the one that people focus the most on uh, as Go engineers. Um, and I think one of the ways you can try and prevent this from happening is if you have good, good monitoring, and if you have good, mon you should always have good monitoring, and this should allow you to to check when something wrong is happening with your queries. Uh, and the other one, which is uh, less transparent queries, because ORM generates the queries for you. So it's, for some people, feel like it's a bit of black magic. So you just write some Go, and then something will be generated for you that you're not aware of. Um, so this image translates a lot of how I feel about my personal projects. So I've always tried to finish personal projects. And one of the things that I do the most is I never finish the project. So I start building it, I over-engineer it, I spend a lot of time doing things, and then I'm like, oh, I know, I'll do something else. Uh, I have another idea for something that's a lot easier, and I can get down to actually getting users using my app. Um, so it, my laptop kind of looks like that, so it's just a bunch of unfinished projects. Um, cool. So here at Deliveroo, some of our apps use ORMs, not all of them. Um, and the main reason why we use them is productivity. So in my opinion, you can be a bit more productive when you use a, an ORM if you write things faster. Obviously, that depends. If you're, uh, if you're very comfortable writing SQL all the time, you can probably do it a lot faster in SQL. Uh, if you're not that familiar, uh, you might be able to write it faster in Go. 
The other thing is uh, one of the main sales things, or not sales thing, but one of the things that people focus the most in Go is his performance. So people tend to compare benchmarks between different frameworks or libraries. Um, and I think it's important to also consider the, the, the library that you're going to use. Is it, is it just fast, or will you be able to, to actually use it in a productive way, and will you be able to ship code? Uh, so when looking at di the different options, we, look into, we looked into three different options. One of them was GORM and SHORM, and they are very similar. They are generic ORMs, so they allow you to interact with the databases in, the, in a generic way. They offer you portability, which means if you wanted to move to a different uh, database, you would be able to. Uh, and then there is another one called GoPG. Uh, GoPG is focused on uh, Postgres only. Uh, it sacrifices portability, so it means if you want to swap to a different database, you're not able to, uh, but it's a tailored implementation for Postgres. Um, here we, for some of our apps, we chose to use GoPG, and the main reason is we don't really need portability. So far, from my experience here and in my previous companies, you're more than likely to switch between databases, and when that happens, usually the cases I've seen, you tend to rewrite your app anyway. Uh, so we decide to sacrifice portability so we can um, have a tailored approach uh, that is more performant, so it's, and it should have feature parity with Postgres rather than having a generic interface. Uh, it also exposes interfaces, allowing you to use direct queries with your database if you want to. So you could choose uh, and use an ORM when it suits you. If there is an easier approach using SQL, you could use SQL as well. Um, and this should allow you to, to choose whatever is more prefer, more, uh, faster for you to develop, because ORMs are not necessarily always faster to develop in, uh, regardless of who it is. Uh, so if you have a case where SQL is faster for someone, they could use SQL as well directly. Um, GoPG offers most features you could expect when interacting with the database. Um, you have some of them here. You can find the full list uh, if you follow the link below. Uh, <laughs> conclusions. Uh, so I don't think there is a, in my opinion, there isn't a right choice that pleases everyone. Everyone has their own preferences. And you should use whatever you feel that you will be productive in. Um, in my, my personal experience, being productive is important as well, not just execu execution times. And I believe that if you have good monitoring for your apps, you should be able to find uh, any kind of bottlenecks so you can fix them uh, on an individual basis. Uh, and where to find it. So that's it for me. You can find me on LinkedIn if you want to ask me anything about Deliveroo feel free to send me a message. That's it. Thank you. So for, in my personal experience, I have not used them. Uh, well, I haven't used them in Deliveroo, and I have not used them in my side projects. In my previous company, Halo, we used Cassandra, which is not SQL. Anyone else? <laughs> So we looked at uh, both options, like I've said before, and the main reason is the main reason for us to go in with GoPG is uh, mainly the, the feature parity. I think GORM has most of them, uh, but it wouldn't have everything. I'm not sure which ones the which features are missing uh, for us. I know we looked at it as a team and we ended up making the decision. 
Uh, performance was one of them. Uh, it's supposed to be faster than GORM because it's tailored, so it, it should interact directly with Postgres and have a tailored implementation rather than a generic one. <laughs> so I thought it was a question with that, just not not in phase. Um so I have a question. Why do we need to deploy our own support? Um if you run your support, you optimize it, you might experience a thing like the high name sequel that spits out is just horrible. Um so why why do you think it's right your own sequel? Why wouldn't the question is why wouldn't I write my own SQL? Uh so from my point of view, it's just a matter of productivity. I feel like, personally, I could write the same thing faster in uh, using an ORM. Uh, so that's the main reason I would write it uh, using an ORM. Obviously, you could write it in SQL, and you could have more flexibility using SQL, uh, plain SQL than you would have in, with an ORM. It's just a matter of productivity. Cool. OK, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.